Welcome to Inspire Me with Jay. This is a podcast to inspire, uplift, show forth the love of God, and help usher in the spiritual awakening. Welcome to Inspire Me with Jay. I'm your host, Jay Spillers, author and teacher. Today we're going to be talking about practical ways you can incorporate meditation in your everyday life. Basically, have a meditative life in general, because we want to make meditation a way of life. It's much, it's similar to the many meditations that I've talked about in the past, only it, it can be even shorter, like 30 seconds to two minutes. And it doesn't necessarily require that you do deep breathing or necessarily even close your eyes or visualize or do affirmations. What got me thinking about this was we were in class yesterday and I was talking about the Greeks and the Greeks had basically various meditation practices that they had developed. And one of them was called the navel gaze. Remember gazing at your navel? And it sounded strange because, you know, people make fun of that. People just staring around, gazing at their navel all day. But maybe there's some value in it. You know, you think about if you were to take a minute or a couple minutes and just stare at your, your navel, that one, it would give you a single point of focus. And two, it would help to decompress kind of eliminate the distractions of this world, even for a minute or two. And the Greeks would use this in helping to develop their philosophical ideas. So I guess it would give them a single-mindedness so that they could work on their philosophical ideas and, and not be distracted. But maybe this is something you could do when you're in a doctor's office or you're waiting for your car to get fixed or you're just sitting in a chair, you know, so much much of the time we'd be on our phones, distracted with our phones, looking at emails and looking at social media, playing games, doing texting, all of those kind of things. But what if we just had a single point of focus? What if it was gazing at our navel or putting your hands in your lap or by your stomach and just staring at your hands? What if it was to take a focus in the room, you know, noticing a picture or noticing a certain object in the room and just focusing on it for 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes? What if it was just to... Notice your breathing, not necessarily to do any other breathing, but just to breathe normally and just to notice it for a minute or two minutes. You know, or what if you were just to sit there in stillness, not necessarily thinking about anything, but just being still, allowing your mind to quiet, allowing your body to quiet. And you can start in a very short period of time. This is something that we could do that would give us a little bit of peace during the day that could help us to decompress and de-stress from all the things that are bombarding us during the day. It could also help us as a practice, because once you... Once you go 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes, and you're like, okay, I could do this. Well, this is something that helps to strengthen your focus and your your being present in the moment so that you could take it into longer, uh, more formal meditations. It's something along with many meditations that could be very helpful in developing your overall meditation practice and to be more meditative as you go about your day. So why don't you pick a point in the room and let's focus on that 
for about a minute. I'm going to focus on something I'm looking at right now. And I'm just going to look at it for a minute. Focus on something in your room. One minute. Do it with me. So let's come back. How was that? How did you feel? What kind of uh, mood did it put you in? Did it did it help you to relax? Did it put you more at ease? Did it help to lessen distractions? Just think about what this did for you just for one moment. Now let's try another one. This time, instead of focusing on an object in the room, Let's just focus on our breathing. Just breathe totally normal. How we breathe. If you breathe through your nose, breathe through your mouth, whatever's normal for you, just go ahead and notice your breathing for one minute. Let's do it with. Now, how is that compared to focusing on an object? I think for me, I found it maybe a little bit more relaxing, just noticing your breathing going in and out. But maybe distractions were a little, a little more difficult to avoid. That they came in a little bit easier, which is noticing your breathing versus having a object to focus. So I kind of see that they. They both have value, and maybe you'd look at you do one at one time, one at another, and they could be something that's beneficial. Now, what if you were to not necessarily have an, a point of focus in the room, not necessarily to be specifically focusing on your breath? What if you were just to sit in stillness? For one moment, try not to move your your body. Try to just have your mind be still and quiet. If you want to close your eyes, it's fine, but you don't have to. Let's just let's just focus for one minute on stillness. I think I'm going to close my eyes. Okay, come back. 
you know what I noticed about that was as I was being still, I naturally noticed my breath. And maybe you did too, you know, maybe being in the practice of meditation so long and always having breath as a focal point, it's something that I, I gravitate towards as I'm just simply trying to be still. I wasn't specifically trying to focus on my breath, but my focus seemed to draw towards my breath anyway. So, but that was a, that was an interesting experience too, just trying to be still. These are different things you can do um, any time of the day. You know, you could even be standing in line and noticing your breath or just being still or having a focal point. You know, when we talk about meditation, most of the time we do close our eyes, and I closed my eyes on the last one, but they actually have um, meditation practices where you just leave your eyes open and stare straight ahead. Now, for long meditations, I've never been able to do them very good. You know, I, I, it's too much to have my eyes open for a long meditation. But, you know, for a minute or two, when you're just focusing on your breathing or an object in the room, it's like, it's no big deal if my eyes are open. So that's something you could do, like if you're standing in line, you know, you have your eyes open. And maybe you, you don't want to stare at an object because you have to kind of be aware of what's around you. But the breath would be an easy one to do as you're walking around, just noticing your breath. And this gets kind of similar to like a meditation walk, a mindfulness walk, where you go out and you take a walk and you just notice everything around you with your five senses, what you hear, what you see, what you smell, what you feel on your skin, could be the breeze, could just be your clothes, could feel your feet inside your shoes, whatever you can experience with those five senses could be an example of a mindfulness walk. You could also go internal, start to feel like, can I feel my heart? Can I feel uh, my stomach or anything else? Those are different things you could do in terms of practical meditation every day. So, and the, the last one I'll point out is that we are on our phones so much and sometimes if you just wanted to hold your phone and hold it with nothing on the screen off like this, I don't know if you can see that, and just kind of stare at that. Let's just stare at the a blank screen. Maybe your time is there, but a pretty much a blank screen. Let's just stare at this for 30 seconds and see what that's like. Now, does that drop emotions? Because usually when your phone's there, you're used to looking at things. Is your mind kind of thinking, oh, you know, I'd like to be looking at text right now. I'd like to be on social media or whatever it is you want to do on there. I wish there was a game on there. Does your mind naturally kind of distract when you're just looking at even a blank phone? Maybe not, you know, and maybe it's still a good focal point, but that's just something interesting to try. Another thing to do with your phone is if you have like the screensaver, you know, the, the initial picture, maybe you've got some loved ones on there and you just want to stare at that for a few seconds. Now, mine might go off, but we could stare at that for 30 seconds. See like what's on my phone right here. Let's see if I can get it up there. I've got a picture of my son and my wife. I can't get a good good image on there. Let's see. Let's try to stare at that for 30 seconds. See what that feels like.
Now, for me, this draws up maybe more of the emotions that I have for these two people, their loved ones. You know, you see their faces, you see their smiles, you see their eyes. It makes you think about the relationship that you have with them. That's where my mind goes. And maybe that's something you would want to meditate on. It's just, it doesn't necessarily have to be your phone picture, but you might have like a regular picture in your wallet that you just want to pull out and look at for a minute. Feel the emotion that you might have for this loved one or loved ones. How does how do they make you feel? What does it remind you of? Does it remind you of being with them? Does it make you feel good inside? Does it give you a very pleasant, peaceful feeling, a very calm feeling? That's something you could notice in your day-to-day -day experience. But that's all I wanted to talk about today was maybe having a single point of focus or noticing your breath or just simply being still as you go about your day as a as a meditation practice and as incorporating meditation in your day-to-day -day life. Thank you, and I'll see you next week.